Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. India logs 3,016 fresh COVID-19 cases, highest in six months. Baloch activists hold anti-Pakistan protest in UK and Germany. And Grand Chariot Festival honoring God of Rain begins in Nepal. And now for all the details. India recorded 3,016 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, the highest in about six months taking the active case load to 13,509 on Thursday. The country has been witnessing a surge in COVID-19 and influenza-related cases in recent days, with experts saying the change in weather following rainfall in many areas has contributed to an ideal environment for viruses to thrive, causing more people to fall sick. Authorities in New Delhi on Thursday also held an emergency meeting to review the situation a day after the national capital reported 300 fresh infections and two deaths related to the virus. The central government has ordered mock drills in hospitals across the country to test COVID preparedness on April 10th and 11th. Now, what we have seen in this train is that there is no such thing that there is no panic situation. But if you are going to the hospital, तो आप मास्क का प्रयोग करें और अगर आपको कोई कोमोर्बिडिटी है आपको कोई गंभीर बीमारी है आपकी इम्यूनिटी कम है तो आप मास्क लगाएं ये हमारी एडवाइजरी है well, a high-intensity blast rocked the border hamlet of Katwa district in India's Daman Kashmir late on Wednesday night, following which a massive search operation was launched in the area. Police officials said an explosion-like sound was heard near border police post Sanyal, located along the international border with Pakistan in Katwa. Search operations continued on Thursday and also led to recovery of a live grenade. A top police official said terrorists must have hurled the grenade due to the presence of security personnel. Further investigations were underway till the last reports came in. As you know, yesterday there was a high intensity blast here. After that, there was a search operation that was located in the place where it was located. And its impact was also in the past village. आया गया जो कि हाई इंटेंसिटी ब्लास्ट बताया जाता है और सुबह फिर जो सर्च है कंटिन्यू की गई खासकर जो हमारी पुलिस पोस्ट है इसके जॉइनिंग एरिया में और आज अर्ली मॉर्निंग साढ़े छह बजे एक लाइव ग्रेनेड भी and Pakistan's opposition PTI party chairman Imran Khan on Wednesday lashed out at the ruling coalition government, accusing it of undermining the powers of the Supreme Court and taking the country towards fascism. This came after the government adopted a bill which will reportedly curtail powers of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court to take CEO motor notice in an individual capacity. Khan on Twitter labelled PM Shehbaz Sharif led government as crook and said they are attempting to attack the Supreme Court. The former Prime Minister, sharing a passage about Hitler's Third Reich, commented that Pakistan is also heading towards a similar state of fascism since last 10 months. Pakistan's Defence Minister, Khwaja Asif, has however defended the move and said the government is not accumulating authority in the parliament as the power still resides with the top court. And moving on, Baloch political activists staged protests this week in Germany and London against Balochistan's illegal occupation by Pakistan. The protesters raised pro-freedom slogans as they highlighted human rights violations by the Pakistani army in the region and urged the international community to intervene. Scores of Baloch activists held demonstration in Germany and the United Kingdom this week to observe March 27th as Black Day, the day Pakistani forces illegally occupied Balochistan in 1948. The members of the Baloch national movement raised pro-freedom slogans and claimed thousands of Baloch people have been killed or forcibly abducted in military aggression since 1948, while Pakistan continues to plunder natural resources of Balochistan. They urged the international community to take cognizance. Every day we are seeking answers for families for our missing people. Persons 
Neither local media, international media have fed and started pressing to this issue. The issues of Baluchistan is getting worse by day. Worse day by day. Activists have long blamed that Baloch people have been targets of military operations, ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the Pakistani state over the years. The protesters demanded the immediate withdrawal of the occupying forces from the region. Top diplomats and human rights groups have called for the immediate release of Matiullah Vesa, a prominent Afghan girls' education activist who was arrested by Taliban authorities last Friday over what an official termed as suspicious activities. Taking to Twitter, former Afghan President Hamid Karzai, U.S. envoy Karen Decker and U.N. human rights spokesperson Jeremy Lawrence called on the Taliban to release him and ensure his access to legal representation. Vesa, hailing from Kandahar province, has for years advocated for girls' education, particularly in conservative rural areas. Since seizing power in 2021, the Taliban administration has barred most girls from high school and women from universities, saying they are perceived problems including around female Islamic dress. And one of the biggest chariot festivals celebrated in Nepal's Kathmandu Valley, the three-day-long Setu Machindrana Jatra began on Wednesday. Hundreds of women also came onto the streets to pull the chariot towards the main city square through a huge crowd of devotees. In the procession, a skyscraping chariot of Setu Machindranath is pulled from place to place for three days. Each day when the chariot reaches its terminus, a group of soldiers fire their rifles into the air. Setu Machindranath is regarded as god of rain, who brings on rain and good harvest. The tradition is carried on for blessings for a good rainfall and pray for famine to stay at bay. And devotees across India gathered at temples to offer prayers as they celebrated Ram Naomi, the birth anniversary of Hindu god Lord Ram, on Thursday. Take a look. Hundreds of devotees across India on Thursday thronged temples to offer prayers to celebrate Ram Naomi, the birth anniversary of Hindu god Lord Ram. On this day, temples and the idols of Lord Ram, his wife Sita and brother Lakshman are richly adorned. It is believed that Lord Ram, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu, was born to eradicate evil from the earth. His saga is depicted in the Ramayana scripture. Devotees queued up at the famous Kamakya temple in Guwahati and at the birthplace of Lord Ram in Ayodhya since early morning, which were blanketed in vibrant floral decorations. ये राम नवमी का पर्व वो भी आज श्री राम भगवान का प्रकाट्य हुआ हुआ दिन इस दिन के दिन यहाँ पे हम लोग इसीलिए आए हैं श्रद्धा भक्ति पूर्वक अपने भगवान के या माता टेके यहाँ पे पैर रखे भगवान का जहाँ जन्म हुआ है उस स्थान को हम दर्शन कर ले डेविडीज इन ईस्टर्न कोलकाता सिटी टुक आउट अ प्रोसेशन टू मार्क द ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन the festival, which falls on the ninth day of the moonlit fortnight in the months of March and April, also marks the conclusion of Navratri. During Navratri, the nine day long fasting festival, Durga, the goddess of power, is worshipped. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.